Daryl and Doobie here. What's the play for today? Well, today it's a little bit of a stress intervention from my muse. I was becoming wound awfully tight with that whole grown-up world and responsibilities and all the things that, well, you have to deal with when you're a grown-up. And I needed an escape. I needed to let off some of that stress and steam. So I came down to the studio and I grabbed one of my collages to build on. Now I started this who knows when, but this is the one that called to me today. And as I started putting the layers on it, my muse was definitely keeping me entertained because I had no idea what was gonna happen to it. All I knew is I just wanted more, 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 more. And I kept adding stuff to it and it became quite silly at times. And by golly, it was just what I needed to shake off the stress. So this is a collage that called to me and the zipper, I don't know how this ended up on my radar all of a sudden, but I wanted that zipper there. And so I'm using some heavy gel medium there to hold it down. The reason why I'm using heavy gel is because I figured this is gonna be a tougher thing to hold in place because it's metal and it's that polyester rayon, whatever you use to make zipper fabric. And so that's why I used a super heavy gel for that. Now, I don't know where this collage is going. I don't have any kind of plan for it, but what I do know is I just want more layers on it, more stuff. So I started going into my box of scraps and collage leftovers and this and that, and just finding stuff to start putting on here because my main objective was to just get more, more, more stuff on here. And what I found really interesting was which stuff actually made the final cut here which things I thought were gonna be great, like the word rule, and then I found words that I liked even better. So as I'd hold different things up to it, audition them on there, some of them were like, yeah, and other things, nah. And it was like I had a plan, but I have no idea what that plan is at this point. I am in the dark. The muse might know what's going on, but all I know is I just need to put more, more, more on this thing. Now the words that I just glued down there, yes, I've made mistakes. Those come from my stencil called Wall of Words and it has a texture. It was done with modeling paste and I want more texture. So notice that theme of more. So I want things with more dimension, more texture. So I've got these five running ladies here. These were also made with modeling paste using one of my stencils called Finding Your Tribe and they are gonna give me some wonderful tactile dimension. So these shapes made out of modeling paste become almost like 3D stickers, like that little seaweed kind of Matisse inspired shape there. Yep, that was made with modeling paste and a stencil too. Now, how do I make these? Well, I go into depth of exactly how to do that in my workshop called Modeling Paste Play, and I'll have a link down below so you can check that out. Now, remember at the beginning of the video, I said I was trying to shake off some stress today. Well, one of the best ways that I can do that is with something that's kind of silly or ridiculous. And sticking her inside the zipper was just what I needed. So all my stress has kind of become like this little ridiculous Alfred Hitchcock movie. So I've got Alfred Hitchcock over on the left. I'd rubber stamped him in a much earlier layer. And I imagine him as the director of this horror film that had been my day that was stressing me out. And of course, you know, what happens to people? They get eaten by zippers or trapped by zippers. And where I've got those five running women, they're running away, trying to get away from the very scary zipper monsters or who knows what it is. But basically, it's so silly and ridiculous, I just can't take it seriously. And the more fun I'm having with the silly story on this piece, the more I can let go of the stress because frankly, that stuff was pretty silly too. Now, the more that I get into building this collage on here, the more I forget about the stress. And that's making me very, very happy because that stress, well, it's not something I really enjoy. As the layers get added to this, the complexities, the depth, the amazing plot of this Alfred Hitchcock-like movie is coming into focus. Well, first and foremost, there are going to be people playing bridge. And why do I know that from this collage? Because there's a bridge scorecard that's glued down right next to Alfred Hitchcock. And of course, you have to have courage for this game. It is going to be an incredibly dangerous game of bridge. After all, the zipper monsters are probably nearby and might attack. Now, of course, every story needs a hero. So we know that what the risks are, the dangers here are these incredibly scary monsters that are gonna interrupt that bridge game. But the hero, it's actually a heroine. It's not going to be a hero. 
it's going to be a mermaid. And you can see her tail right there. A mermaid is what's going to rescue people. So you've probably got a pretty good idea now as to why I have not written the great American novel, that New York Times bestseller of American fiction, because this is the kind of stuff that I come up with. Although if there's somebody that works in Hollywood and would like the rights to this story, feel free to contact me and we can work something out. Now I'm using all sorts of different supplies in here, from the pens to the stencils to the glues, all that kind of stuff. And I'll have all the links and the specifics about what each of these products are over on the blog at a colorfuljourney.com. Now I've already got lots of layers on here. It's quite a busy little collage going on. And why am I adding even more to it? Well, is it a principle of art? Is it something about the composition? No, it comes down to I'm having fun putting stuff on here and today I needed the fun, I needed the play, so that's why I'm continuing to just add more and more because it brings me joy just to keep doing this. And every time I look at this collage, it's going to remind me of this silly fun when I think about that Alfred Hitchcock movie that's been uh, presented here on this collage. It's going to be hard for me to take things too seriously. I'm going to finish this up with a little touch of scribble journaling, and I am going to call this finished for now. Well, thanks so much for joining me for today's stress relieving play. If you would like to see more of my videos, hit that subscribe button. That way you'll know as soon as I have a new video out. And thank you for letting me be a part of your colorful journey.